A Beautiful Mind is an incredible movie about mental illness, and it roughly follows the life of John Nash, who was the inventor of game theory. Unfortunately, they forgot to have someone read the script who was an economist, or a mathematician, or anyone who understood game theory whatsoever. Because the scene in the movie describing game theory is just wrong. So we're going to go over it. The scene opens with four men at a bar, including John Nash, and five women walk in, including a blonde, that the movie assumes is the most attractive from among the women, and that's a false assumption, but we'll go with it. Now the guys are all thinking about going for the blonde themselves, when John Nash interrupts them with a seemingly brilliant idea. And his idea is this. He says, each of the men should go for the brunette women, leaving the blonde alone. And there's a clip where she looks really sad. Um, and the logic behind this is that Nash claims if they all go for the blonde, they're going to block each other and will mostly get rejected, in which case they'll turn to one of the other girls for a date, but the other girls will reject them because they don't want to be the second choice. That's the logic. Now, to understand what's wrong with this, we need to look at the definition of Nash equilibrium. Nash equilibrium is a no regrets equilibrium, meaning every player given that equilibrium can look at what the other players chose and say, given what those other players did, I'm happy with my choice. I have no regrets. Every player's choice is a best response to best responses. That's Nash equilibrium. Now let's test our proposed equilibrium from the movie to see if it actually meets those criteria. The question is, do any of these guys have a regret on their choice based on what the other three guys chose? And yes, of course, if John Nash sees that the other three guys all went for the brunettes, then John Nash is going to go for the blonde. That would be his best response. If he's gonna go for the other brunette as the movie proposes, then that's not a best response so it's not a Nash equilibrium. As a matter of fact, there are a number of Nash equilibriums here, but all of these Nash equilibriums involve one of the guys going for the blonde and the other guys going for the brunettes. As long as this is the case, each of these guys can say, given what the other players chose to do, I'm happy with my own choice. So this is a Nash equilibrium. This is a Nash equilibrium. This is a Nash equilibrium, and this is a Nash equilibrium. But anytime the blonde is sad because she didn't get a date, that's not going to be a Nash equilibrium. There will be one of the guys left over who has regrets, and we know that violates the criteria. In sum, John Nash would have been rolling over in his grave if he were not alive at the time this movie came out.